Hey my friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. I have been testing quite a few electric cars in the last year or so and I have finally had it with using public chargers. It sucks, man. They're either broken or other people are using them or people are parked in the space and they're not using them. It's really the equivalent of using public transportation if you're trying to charge your electric car out there with public chargers. It sucks. So I finally decided to get my own charger at home where I rent and I was actually surprised at how easy and inexpensive it is. And so I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing and a product review on the one I got because I'm surprised at how easy it is. And well, I don't know why I've waited so long. Because I am testing more and more electric cars, about one of every five press vehicles I get, like many people with an electric vehicle, I've just discovered that depending on public chargers just doesn't work. And yes, most cars come with their own level one 120 volt emergency charger that works, but it's too slow for a full charge in a hurry. And recently, even some cars have stopped coming with that. I'm looking your way, Kia. Yeah, the EV6 didn't come with a charger. How about that? So I finally thought it was time to do something about this first world problem of mine. Because I live in a rented townhouse, I've often thought that the prospect of getting my own charger was a non-starter. Well, I was wrong. A quick look online showed me that I can get a home charger that's not only affordable, not thousands, but for hundreds. Furthermore, there are so many solutions that I could even get one that offers multiple plug styles and charging levels to meet my needs, even in a rented townhouse. In my case, I found on Amazon the Electron Level 1 Level 2 Portable Charger. It has dual charging plugs that work with both Level 1 and Level 2. In such, it allows you to plug into a conventional household outlet or a 220-240 volt outlet such as in my garage. Perfect to keep in the trunk of a car when you don't really know what's going to be awaiting you at the other end of your journey. Opening the box, I found that it came in a molded black canvas carrying case that zips open and shut. It's got a semi-hard shell so it keeps its shape. The charger itself comes with a pretty heavy gauge 21 foot cable and a universal charging plug compatible with all J1772 standard EVs. That's most cars except for some Teslas. What allows it to do both level 1 and level 2 is that it has two separate attachments for plugging it into your power source. The first is an EMA 515 plug for connecting to a 110-120 volt household outlet and it operates at 16 amps. You will want to make sure that the circuit has a minimum of a 20 amp capacity for this. The second is a 220-240 volt level 2 charging plug that has a NEMA 1450 plug that will operate the charger at 32 amps. You'll need a minimum 40 amp circuit to accommodate this charging method. For filming of this video, I used the level 1 charging as my 240 volt 30 amp circuit first needs to be upgraded to 40 amps before I can safely use the outlet for this charger. Once connected to whichever outlet you use, you can then plug it into your vehicle. Soon after, the vehicle lit up and started whirring away. On the charging unit, you can see that the LEDs light up, confirming successful operation. According to the manufacturer, the charger can add up to 6 miles of range per hour on the level 1, and up to 31 miles per hour on level 2. These metrics obviously depend on your vehicle and the onboard charging capabilities it has, but most contemporary EVs have onboard chargers that exceed this charger speed. In all, I'm pretty happy with this particular unit given it offers both level 1 and level 2 charging in one box. At the time this was filmed, the list price of this particular unit is about $350 on Amazon. Electron, however, has several variations of chargers, some less and some more. One thing that did not come with this is a user manual. However, I was able to download a PDF manual from their website. Once I did, I found out that there really isn't much in it as this is ultimately a pretty simple device. Honestly, I'm just happy to find out I didn't need to spend thousands of dollars to be able to charge at home and avoid the hellscape that using public charging networks has become. All right, my friends, there you go. Now, I kind of feel like I've joined some kind of exclusive club. It's like when I first got my smartphone that had a screen on it, you know, and I feel like I kind of joined the race everybody else had been running for some time. Well, now I've got my own electric charger. Now, there are links down below for this particular one. 
This brand offers a lot of different levels. You can get more expensive, faster ones. You can get less expensive uh, chargers that, that aren't quite as fast as this one. Bottom line is there's a lot of choices out there. You can check that out down below. Um, well, until I get an electric car, there won't be a review on that, but you can see our latest video right there, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned. I'm in the club.